All right, in this video we are going to be talking about the Timeline tab of Chrome Developer Tools. When there are performance issues in your web page, this is a great place to start because it records everything and you can look in detail from a whole bunch of different ways. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to hit this record button. I'm going to refresh the page. It is capturing stacks, profiles of the JavaScript, memory, and paint, which is like CSS. So once I do that, I'm going to press the stop button. Okay, it downloaded all this information. Well, it didn't download it. Retrieved all this information. It says the largest part was scripting of all the aggregated time. What's really cool about this is how many ways it'll organize the information it just took. It just in a split second got all this data and it's going to organize it for you the best way that makes sense to you, which I think is awesome. So in this view, you can zoom in on specific things. It tells you exactly what's scripting in this summary. If we go down here, this main thread and all these details, again, it's color coded. Each one of these green line, the blue line, the red line has to do with when the document object model is loaded. Let's go ahead and switch views to this way. So here, this is so awesome. I'm geeking out right now. So I'm still so excited about it. If I click this first bar, which is the biggest one, as somebody who's not, I'm not an expert in Google development tools, I'm still learning. And I encourage all of you to do the same and just get in there, play around, click on things, see what they mean. If you have a question, ask. It's the best way to learn. So this main thread went all the way throughout. But here, if we click on this, save timeline data, load timeline data. It's going to bring it up in this lower bar here as well. So I'm going to make this bigger. I won't be able to see much of the main page anymore. Back to the timeline. I click this and it brings up all this information about this one thing. It says the type, which is evaluate script, the total time, the self time, the link to the script. It'll take me exactly, I'm going to click this, where in the document this is, this exact piece of code. So if your page has some performance issues, maybe its memory is not quite working the way you'd expect it to, the whole thing's taking a long time, this is a great place to look just to see exactly where the problem is, what part of it's taking so long, and it, you can view that information and use it so efficiently to fix the problem quickly and get your page running smoothly. What I want you to take away from this is not everything. You're not going to be able to get it all at once. Get in there and play around with it and see which way works best for you when you're looking at all that information that it has to offer. And remember, when you're editing a page and editing the information for a page, it's not going to save. So if you fix a problem in the browser, make sure you keep track of what you're doing so you can fix it in your original documents as well. 